The residents of Compton pay one of the highest sales taxes in the state. And it was supposed to help fix their crumbling streets, but is the money going where it was promised? To on your side, investigator Christine Lazar has been following Compton's pothole problem for months now. And Christine, what did you find when you looked at the numbers? Well, it hasn't been easy. Mm. We asked the mayor, every single council person, and the city manager to sit down with us and do an interview and talk about the numbers, and they all either didn't respond to me at all or refused. Oh. We even pushed back this story mm. a week for the mayor to accommodate her schedule, and then she decided to decline that interview. So we did try. Now, back in early March, I put in a Freedom of Information Act request for a full accounting of Measure P funds. Now, the city just keeps pushing back its deadline to get me that information, and we still don't have what we asked for. But a Washington politician asked for those numbers as well, and she provided me with what the city gave her. You can hear it when people drive over them. You can watch cars swerve around them, and you can smell the burning rubber when cars slam on their brakes to avoid them. These potholes are causing a lot of damage to a lot of vehicles. My daughter has three cracked rims on her car, and on my vehicle, it's going to cost me $2,800 because of these potholes. In 2016, these lawn signs were all over Compton. Measure P was marketed as a sales tax measure that would be used to fix their streets now. Now, nearly three years later, streets all over Compton still look like this. These are like the size of a mini pond. By the end of 2019, Measure P will have netted more than $28 million for the city, according to numbers provided by the city manager. In 2017 to 2018 alone, the tax brought in $11.5 million in revenue. And yet, only about 7% of that money went to street improvements. Susan Shelley is with the Howard Jarvis Taxpayers Association. It's just a bad practice for governments to take the most important thing Things and not do them so they become a crisis so they can ask for a tax increase. The bulk of the Measure P money went to public safety and law enforcement, and twice what was spent on road repairs went toward paying down the city's old debts. People need to understand uh, there's mismanagement of city funds, which is why the street's not getting done. Congresswoman Nanette Diaz Barragon, who represents Compton in Washington, D.C., is so concerned about the way the city is spending Measure P funds, she flew out to hold a town hall meeting about the issue last month. Mayor Asia Brown called the town hall a waste of time. Are you frustrated though that you even need to step in here? Shouldn't this be a city issue that you don't even need to worry about? Absolutely. This is generally not a town hall um, I would be doing as a federal official, but because we are getting so many complaints about the city not responding and the streets and it being 20 years before uh, the war streets are being done, uh, we believe it's completely important that we get involved. In an email to Two on Your Side, Mayor Brown said that Measure P is a general tax and the ballot description names a variety of items, such as public safety and city park improvements. But if you ask the residents... Did you think that Measure P was going to be mostly for potholes? I thought it was going to be all for potholes. What did you think Measure P was to do? To fix the potholes? I think it's completely deceptive. If a store did this, the government would be cracking down on them for false advertising, but the government does it and they're just being clever. Mayor Brown refused our repeated requests for an interview, telling us she has no intention of going back and forth with elected officials in the media and that she'll let the city's results speak for themselves. I blame all of them. I blame the city manager, the mayor, the city council, because is not they're not working together. The city does have plans to spend a greater percentage of Measure P funds on streets in the coming year, about 24% of the 10.8 million they expect to come in. And not long after we did our first report on potholes in February, the city announced a $1.6 million rehabilitation project that would repave 22 streets. The mayor has posted some of the progress on her social media pages, but many residents think that the movement is only due to an increase in Media coverage and pressure from politicians like Congresswoman Barragon. I'm hoping there's change coming. I'm hoping. Last year, the state controller accused Compton City leaders of reckless overspending and overpaying themselves. But earlier this month, the state controller did commend the city for now working with them to improve the city's financial conditions. Pat and Jeff, back to you. All right, it's a great eye-opener report. We'll Thank keep you. on it. Absolutely. Right. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Christine. Mm -hmm.